be working with a triple beam balance. Um, this is a triple beam balance. This is the pan. This is where we put the item that we're going to try to find the mass because the triple beam balance measures in mass. This one happens to measure in grams. So if you look at these three things, there's some, some people call them weights um, and some people call them runners. I tend to call them runners. Uh, so this little runner down here just goes up by uh, one gram at a time. These are tenthograms between. This bigger, the biggest mass or the biggest runner goes up by 100 grams at a time. It's real important to make sure it clicks in. And then this back middle size mass, it goes up by 10 grams each. So when you're measuring the mass of something, the first thing you want to do is make sure all the runners are at zero. And that over here where it balances out, that it's balanced at zero. Okay? And if you can't get it to balance at zero, there is a little spinner back here that you spin backwards or forwards to get it to be zero. All right. So the first thing we're going to measure the mass of is this stapler. So as you can see, the balance is way off of zero right now. And my goal is to move these runners until it balances at zero again. And then that will tell me how many grams this stapler is. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna start with measuring my stapler. To do this, I am going to go ahead and move the largest runner first. And I'm gonna make sure it clicks into the 100 spot. And as you can see, the balance is still way high. So I need to add more mass, click it into the 200 spot. That's still not enough. So I'm gonna move on to 300. Oh, look, it went down. That means 300 is too many grams. It's gonna weigh or have less mass than 200, 300. So I'm gonna go back to the 200. And now I'm going to start moving the tens grams. So 210, mm, not enough. 220, not enough. 230, 240, 250. Oh, 250 is too much. So I know that it's got to be more than 240, but not 250. So I'm back to 240, and now I'm going to start moving the single one. And look, it's starting to, it looks like that's just a tiny bit too much. I'm gonna go backwards just a little. Again, I'm looking for it to balance back out at the zero. And that looks, that looks pretty balanced. There we go, that looks pretty balanced, okay. So now I have my three runners in place and to determine how much mass this stapler has, I just need to add them together. So I have a 200, a 40, and a 3.3 it looks like. So I have 243.3 grams. Again, the stapler is 243.3 grams. So you can go ahead and record that. I'm gonna take my object off and return everything to zero. And I'm gonna repeat the same process with a half a bottle of ice water. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the hundreds. Oh, 300 is too much, so it's gonna be 200 and something. And let's see, gotta make sure it clicks in. 240 isn't enough. Ooh, 250, these are gonna be very similar in mass. So it's more than 240. See, that's too much because it's too low. Wow, these guys are within like a gram of each other. We're getting very close. Still might be a little heavy. Maybe moved it back a little bit. Okay, so again, we just have to add up the runners and that will give us the mass. So we have a 200, a 40, and it looks like a 4.8. So 244.8 grams for this guy. So it looks like this guy is just barely has more mass than the stapler. All right, so we removed our object. We're gonna go ahead and move this backward. And we're gonna put our keys, our final object. We have about uh, seven or eight keys with a lanyard. And I'm, I'm guessing this one isn't even gonna be 100. No, it is not. See, that's too much, so we're gonna go backwards. And I'm going to start with the tens. 40 isn't enough. 50 isn't enough. 60 is not enough. 70. 
80, ooh, 90. 90 is too much, so we're gonna go back to 80. And then we're gonna start moving the, the ones until we can get it balanced. That's a little too much, so I'm gonna scoot it back. Looks like we're pretty close here. It looks pretty good. So we have 80 and four point, you could say 4.1, you probably just just say four as well. So about 84 grams for the keys. So you can use this information for your lab.